The Indonesian Constitutional Court will try a motion challenging its recent decision to amend the age limit of presidential and vice presidential candidates. The new trial seeks to tighten the rules to contest in an election after an exception was made for candidates under the age of 40 in a controversial ruling that took place just last month. Now, it paved the way for President Joko Widodo's son to register as running mate to Defence Minister Prabowo Subianto in the upcoming presidential election. Chani Vatvani with this report. Faith in justice restored, that's what many Indonesians are saying after an ethics panel of judges demoted Chief Justice of the Constitutional Court, Anwar Usman, on Tuesday. Now, the former Chief Justice happens to be President Joko Widodo's brother-in-law, and the ethics panel of judges found him guilty of committing a gross violation of the court's ethics code and conflict of interest for not recusing himself from the court's verdict on age limits for presidential and vice presidential candidates. Rather, the controversial ruling last month made an exception to allow people below the age of 40 to contest. And while Mr. Anwar is prohibited from running or being renominated as a chief justice until his term as a constitutional judge ends, the spotlight on the controversial court ruling continues with yet another trial being brought to court. This new trial is seeking to be more specific in terms of the words used for the exception so that the terms read that potential candidates must be at least 40 years old or were or are occupying a position that was elected through the regional elections at a provincial level. And while this may seem like just semantics, it is looking to be more specific in order to deter any potential loopholes. That being said, the panel of ethics judges made very clear in Tuesday's ruling that the controversial decision which paved the way for President Widodo's son, Gibran Rakabuming Raka, to register as running mate to Defence Minister Prabowo Subianto in the upcoming election cannot be reversed. The judges said that if there were any new rulings to be applied or which would have an impact, those would only begin to apply for 2029's presidential election. This may not impact Mr. Gibran's ambitions. However, it could impact the ambitions of others looking to follow in his footsteps. Given that the election after next year's election will happen in 2029, this latest trial may or may not be the beginning of many similar trials that we could potentially witness as situation heats up come election season.